hi so in this video i will show you how you can make a high converting product landing page using page fly so in this video i will show step by step to make a clone of this product so this is the layout and this how it looks and i will show you step by step from start to finish how i approach the layout and also with mobile responsive in the count so if you want this template or want a similar template you can leave an email you can send me an email i will try to reach you out and told you how you can get this ready-made template if you are interested or if you are something interested to make it on your own using page fly then please follow this tutorial step by step you will see me doing this step by step and also if you know this gem pages is no more in the app store so pagefly is the better alternative to design something similar to this what we are seeing right now so i will show you how you can approach this layout and how you can do that inside pagefly so without further ado let's get started in our store so this is my one of my stores so first of all you have to install pagefly so i will put a link in the description you can install it by using that links and other things i should say you that if you see this product page there is a bundle available in the product page for four piece 12 and eight piece for this type of light so what i did i have added those products in my store as a separate products as you can see right so these are three products with the individual price for each of the products so if you are doing bundle or if you are selling products in bundle you have to do the same you have to add those products of bundle with the actual price of them inside your product section so i won't show you adding those products i think this is very basic and you know how to do it so i will start from apps and then i'll just go to the page fly and start doing the design so let's get started with the design so as we are making it for a product page i will go to the product page section and then i'll create click, click on create a new page so this will open the interface of the page fly to design that page then what i will do first of all i will just analyze the layout and how we can approach it so first of all you can see there is a, a shape and actually this is a design of the product or this is a design with this image of the product instead of this i will use a i will use a background in that case so first of all we have to take a whole section and then divide that into two column in the left column there will be this section and in the right side there will be image of the product so i will go to the page fly and in page fly inside page fly you will find there is some options in your left side okay so just close attention to this section you will able to see it and if you read it you will test this will make sense so first it says add elements so if we click on this you will find few elements has been pop up to our screen so first of all we'll click on this layout and you will see that it is showing us the layout so as i said the first things is that there will be a whole background and with that there will be two column so in that case we can take this layout this will be 50 percent in the left side and 51 in the right side two column layout then i will just drag it into my editor and just drop it inside my editor as you can see there is showing the blue line so now you can see there is two column is showing for me so if you can if you notice there is in the upper section if i click on it you will find the upper section here so there this is this how we can go back to column go back to the whole row and then we can shift to the section as well so i'll just click on the section because our section has a background color so what i will do so then i will see as i select the section then i will go to the styling panel so there is two panel we can see one is general another is the style so style means we can give it color we can give it padding we can give it a space in that case so as i said uh, that in our design we will use roboto so i'll just click on this panel so select the font so just click on it and just type for roboto font so what font you are doing you will find it but 
you can only find google fonts in that case so if you are using any custom font you have to upload it this is another subject you can find how to add any custom font in pagefly so just i will click on done then you can say i will find the robot font okay so just scroll down i will find a background image and background color option so i'll just click on background image and i had oh, added an image so i will just click on it and i will open it so this will be our background image so but what we will find that there is a very little space between the top and bottom so i will go to the upper section in the same styling tab of the section and i will give it a padding of 100 and 100 so i think 100 won't be enough i will give it a 160 and 160 so this will take a much more space if you want more space then you can give it a more padding then as i said there will be in the left side there will be this text and in the right side there will be an image of the products so then again just click on the add element and then be below these containers you will find few things one is heading one is paragraph one is button and then another is list so these elements is very important for us in terms of design for page fly so first of all if you can see this is a heading with the name of the products right with the heading of the products so i'll just click on heading and then you will find different types of heading one is just the heading second is heading with the icon and then the is change the position of the icons to the left right and to the top in that case you can see there is no required of having an icon for the heading so i will just select the first heading so you can see when we are hovering our mouse any of these elements you can see there will be a blue line appear you means you selected it properly then what you do is just drag it and just drop it inside this column make sure that we are when you are dropping it the columns gets blue okay so the column gets blue so it properly gets inside into the column so i'll just drop it inside into the column then first task what i will do first task i will just select this paragraph and you can see there is also two tab in that case as well one is general and another is styling so in general i will put those text and then i will just call in the general tab i will control a and control b to paste the, all the text then i'll go to the styling and i'll just give it a overall color of white then you can see it gets some margin so i will just make it zero so no required of margin in that case then i will check what is the font size of this font so i have extension of what font you can add it to your chrome so if i click on this you can see it is roboto 500 italic and 46 is the font size so in the styling if you go below you will find that font size i will give it 46 another thing is left is just i will give it a roboto font and in the mode setting i will make the font to medium okay so i'll make it to medium then what i will do another thing is left to make it italic and also make those text make those text to this color okay so rest of will be white but this will be this color so i'll copy this color code and then i will go to the general tab and then i will select all of them and make it first italic then i will just my with my mouse i will select those text okay and then you will find the option called color in that case okay so you can see this is the color option just click on it and then paste the color code that we have copied with the hash and i will just click apply now you can see that first text has the white color and the next text got the color of this i think yellow light yellow so now the things here is finished so the next things that we can see is those paragraphs so if i click on this paragraph you can see it is also roboto with the 416 pixels is the font size so what i will do i will just copy those all the text okay then i can go back to page fly and as we did in the previous then i will click on add element and go to the paragraph section then you can see there is two types of design for the paragraphs and for this we will just select this and just drag it 
and just drop it below the paragraph so so you can see there is a blue line appear so just drop it here then go to the paragraph and then go to the general tab and then control a and just control v and paste those text okay so then i will go to the styling so this will be a white color okay and then you will find a, a margin here as well just make it zero but as you can see we have few space between this and there will be seen below this paragraph so i'll just go to the upper section and give it a padding and give it a padding of 2020 so this will be better then i'll go below and just click on roboto font then i will give it a font size of 16 pixel and then i'll go and make it a regular okay so as you can see it looks quite similar but i think it will be the font family will be something more okay then you can see that there is few text has been bold okay and then the rest of the them is light so in that case what you can do go back to general and if you want to make any text bold just select them just select them like we did in the before and get it a color and then give it a bold color so now you can see it becomes bold so this is how you can make any particular color to bold so just like that okay so just like that then you can see there is a button so first of all you have to understand what this button is doing if it is adding the products for us or if it is doing something so if i click on this button you can see it is scrolling me to this bundle section so that means is it is not a add to cart button it is a normal button that will redirect people or scroll people to the bottom of the page where we will show the bundles for this product so i'll just go back to my page fly and then click on add element then you will find the option which is called button then click on it and i will just select the first so this is appropriate for us just click and drag it here okay so what one thing you will see here is that the button is much more larger right so first of all i will just inspect it and copy those text so if you don't know how to inspect just click on right click on your chrome and then inspect it and you will find that there is a add to cart text i will just copy all of those and then i will try to see the font size so i think this is around 20 pixel right so i'll just click on it and then just paste those text then i will go to the font and then we have to copy that for text copy the color of this so i'll just copy the background color from there so as you can see and it is a border that is 39 pixel as well so i'll go back to page fly and just click this button and go to the styling and if you go below if you go below just click on roboto just click on 20 pixel then what you can do is go to this background color and i'll just paste the code that i have copied now you can see it has taken the code so i'll just make this text to bold i think this is bold yes this is bold and also you can see it has a much more space in the left and the right side but it has less so what i will do i will just go to the upper section and in the left padding i will give it a 90 pixel or 80 pixel i think or 80 pixel yes and in the top i will give it a 15 and 15 so this will look better then i'll go below and then you will find a section called border with the border you can give it a border radius so i'll give it a 50 pixel so 50 pixel means this will become something like this and also one thing missing is the underline so i'll go back uh, to the previous general tab and just select all of those and just underline them so you can see now it is looks exactly the same as it is showing in this example page then there is a it is called uh, i think trust badge so i, I can save this image save this trust badge in that case and then i will go back to page fly again so i will have to add this below the button so i'll click on add element so it is an image i'll click on this image and then drag this below the button so please look in close attention because sometimes if you misplaced it you can see it will be so you can see that the image gets near to the button so how you can solve this you can make it display block now okay we can make the image select the image and make it display block so it will go to the next line okay so this is how we can solve this issue 
then go to general tab and upload your image so i will just drag this and upload the image in inside the page fly so i'll just click on it and just upload it inside the page fly those are selected then you can see the image has been uploaded but there is one thing to be mentioned is that the spacing so i'll go to the image and then i will just give it a padding of 20 and 20 up and below then if you want to reduce the size of the image in that case you can see it is something more smaller so if you want to do it what you will do just click on the image and go to general tab and you can do is give it a width of 400 or something less what you like so i will like 390 okay so you can see it is looking good and it is going to the way that we are wanting it to be so the another last thing is left is this right side image so this will be a product image as i said i will click on add element and i'll click on image then i'll drag this image to the right column okay so then the image will be in the right column then i'll select the image then i'll go to the select to manager and upload i will upload a photo of the lights this is the photo of the lights so this will be uploaded then i will click on select okay then you can see this is looks good but if it is uh, something that has no background of the white that it could be much better so for this we can easily go to remove.bg to remove the background and make it transparent and i will upload the image and i will select the image so it removes the trans white background and make it transparent so it will make it transparent now you can see then i will click on download then i will go to the page like once more then i will just re-upload the new image that i have removed the background from and check if it is worked or not so then i will click on select then you can see the image is showing i will give it the original size i will give it the size of 400 so now you can see the image is something left aligned so i will just select this column then go to the styling tab and i will make it alignment to the center and another thing is you can see that the text of the all of the text is not being aligned properly according to the image size so for this if you select this column as i said in the top section you will find few option then there is a column then there is a row then there is a section so we'll select from column to this row okay then i will go to the styling tab i will go to the general tab and i will just content position to middle so okay then you can see there is a slight difference in terms of the alignment so it makes sense and it makes the look of our website much better and the i think the consistency makes much better so if i i think the top bottom padding is looking much more so i will just select the whole section from this upper area then go to the style tab and i will reduce those upper and below padding to 120 this will be much better because it looks much more larger then for the first section i will also show you the proper way to make it mobile responsive as well so what we did we make a layout but this layout is only for the mobile area for the desktop version sorry then for the mobile we will have to hover this section and then go to this mobile version okay as you can see in mobile version the text is much larger so i'll just select the text and go to the styling again and give it a new new value for the mobile version so in mobile i think the 30 will look good and then what i will do i will just make all the columns to the center so it will may, may make much more sense and also for the section i will also try to reduce the space to 80 okay so when people are scrolling through they are seeing the contents properly and very much in the first place okay so that paragraph does not need to be changed it is looking good if you think it is have to be something less then you can give it a 16 pixel then for button for button we can reduce the font size to 18 and also left and right padding to 50 and 50 okay and 50 i think 40 40 will be good for mobile only and for pc it is and this section is already looking good this image is also looking good 
and also as we did for the section we will also reduce the bottom padding as well okay so as you can see this how it looks right now so this how it will looks in mobile so make sure that your mobile version is also optimized because if you are giving font size of a heading for desktop 50 pixel this will look much more bigger in mobile version so this how you can do it then let's go back to the old devices once more so there is also you can do it for laptop screen tablet screen this is all you wish but as you know that the most of the customer visit for maximum customer visit from your mobile device and the rest of them is from desktop so this is the two version i will make responsive in this tutorial so i'll go back to the all devices again so as you can see this is the all devices and uh, also the we have made it mobile responsive as well so the first section is complete so here is the important point when you are making any changes please make sure that you are saving your page unless if something happens your editor closed something happens your internet has been down or something else then your all the hard works will be in vain so to do to make any changes saved what you click on this save option then you have to give it a page title so it will be according to your product name so in that case i will give it according to the product name then i will click save the page then i will can i can publish it or i can publish it later this is my wish but i will show you how you can publish it and also please make sure if it is your live website and if your website is already live if you have already customers are coming to your product pages don't make it live don't make a half doing half editing page live so you are not losing any customer but if it is a password protected store development store and if it is a store that you haven't yet launched then you can do it then you can make it live then you can check it and do further editing unless you make it live so i'll just click on publish then i will click on continue then you have to assign the products that you want to make this template for so as i showed you i have added the bundle for the this product so there is bundle for 12 4 and 8 so i will add all of these three products so these three products will be the same templates right so and then click on this arrow then you can see this how it looks so it comes from left to right means the products have been selected then i click on publish page then it will take few moments to publish the page so first of all the first section takes as well much more time then another settings that we need to do is what i will show you let's view the live page so so if you view the live page you can see there is an extra section before our design right so we have to remove it so how we can remove it so to remove that you will have to go to this page setting then go to this type as you can see it is a product page then go to the layout option then just disable this product details just disable this so it won't show the default product details page for you and also if you want to hide header and footer you can also hide it but in that case i don't want to hide my header footer i want it to be showed so i'll click on save and then i'll have to publish it once more then if i click view the page once more then you can see that the page starts from the design we are doing right now but before it has a few extra section before our own design so that's how i had removed this so i hope that makes sense so please do remember to remove this now as we completed the first section now let's move to the next section so this is the second section of the landing page so in the in this section we have a left we have a image and in the right side we have few bullet points or few product features as you can see so we will add those as well so as like for this section we will also click on this add element then go to the layout and then it has also the two separate parts so we can choose this section these two columns layout as well so just drag this below this section 
or you have to so now you can see i have uh, by mistake i have taken this into the below upper section so i'll just click on this delete with selecting this row then click on delete so i'll just come to below to this section and just click and again add element and then i'll just drag those below this section so as you can see there is a blue line right now so now you can see we have two section inside the white space okay so in that case we don't have a background color for this as you can see this is a white section but we do have few padding so i will select the section and i will give it a padding of 50 and 50 okay then you can see there is a image in the left side so we have i will just save the image or i will just copy the image address for uh, short, doing it shortcut you can just upload your own image from your gallery just so copy this image address then in the left side we have an image just click on the set element and then go to the image and i will drag the image to this column okay then i will select the image then go to general and then go to select from image manager and then you can upload the image from your computer and in that case i will just give the url of the image so it will upload it upload it by its own okay so we will have to wait and then i will click on select and then select this image then to make sure that the image is in middle i will just click on the image then go to the column and then make it in the middle okay so that's how the image looks but it looks much more bigger so i'll click on the image then go to the general and then i will go to the custom then i will can give it a 400 okay so now i think the original image size in the page and this looks quite similar okay i think it will be 450 and also like i will go to the style as you can see there is a few radius in this image and I will go to the below section, they will go to the border style and I will give the image a 50 pixel border radius. Okay. Then we have few bullet points. For bullet point, just click on add elements, then click on list, then select any of them. So in that case, we have icons and text. So for this, I will select uh, this icons list. So just drag this inside this column. Okay. So now we can see it is dragged inside to this column then what i will do i will just inspect this and try to find the color of these icons if it is possible so i hope that is it is possible so this is the color of these icons and also the text is roboto with 16 pixel hash 333 is the so i'll just click on this icon and then i will just select and you can choose whatever icon you like in that case i think it is a water drop or something like that I'll just uh, you can find whatever icon you think is matching to this to your purpose so in that case I will always like to use check mark icons for these sections so I like this icon and I'll go to the style and give it the color then I will come back here and make it big 25 pixel will be good right then I will select this text and in this text I will just copy those text here and then select this and in that area i will put those text now you can see that the text has been given now i will give it a color of hash 333 okay then i will go to the below and then i will just remove the paddings so it has a 10 padding okay then select roboto and i will also give it a font size of 20 to 21 and also i will also i will fix another issue i wanted this as you can see in that case the text is just straight they are not coming from this icons area in that case the text has been below the icon area so just click on and this list item and then go below and make it a display flex okay so now this how it will looks with display flex now you can see the text has a separate line and these are now straight so this solved the issue and i will give it a 20 pixel i think so this is looks better then what i will do as i already designed this list as you can see in the top side i can see there is a call list item and after, before that there is a call list so i will select this list things okay then i will go to the general tab then you will see that full list is already added so as my first list is already designed so this will be better for me that the next one gets the same design right so i will delete the 
remaining four three and i will just duplicate this five times okay then what you can do you can have put your own text from this so it is taking me some time so i will just copy this text and then just copy this text and also so this text looking much more bigger so i think i will make them 18 pixel so now you can see there is a issue with this alignment of the text so what i can do i can create this list item and then go below and i can make align items to center so for all of these, I will make align items to center, align items to center. So the alignment remains good. So align items to center. Okay. Then I can copy other text as well. And as I said, you can change those icon anytime. You can give it a separate icon if you like to do. Okay. But I will give it all the same check mark because check mark looks better in terms of benefits. So this is how it looks right now right so this how it looks and also here is i think six of the list items just i will grab it and copy it and also for the section i think the section for the section i will check this and i will go to the row and i will try to minimize the space between these rows okay so i will give it 10 and then in the image i will make it something bigger okay so this how it looks so if you want to make the alignment of this area also regarding to the image size what you can do is just go to this row and then click on this center then you can see that the text has been centered in perspective of the image then for the mobile i'll go to the mobile and as you can see it already looks good in the mobile but what you can do, you can select this list and it is getting a padding. So you can just remove it so it gets much more space. And also for the text size, you can make it 16 pixel for mobiles. So this looks good. So this looks good. So I'll go to the old device again. So now as you can see, it looks looking good. And as I said, you can change the text, change those icons as you wish. So now let's move to the next section. In that section, if I show you, these are all separate three images. Means we can have three columns and we can put those images in those three columns. But you can see that it is full width and also between those images, there is no gap. All right so let's move to the page fly and as it is have three image in three column i'll go to the layout and i will just drag this in below this section now you can see there is three columns but uh, but as we see that the images is taking from the left side to the right side what i will have to do i will just i will have to select this section and go to the general and i'll have to uncheck this fixed width area so i'll uncheck this now you can see that the section taking the full width so there is no space between from the left side and the right side so what that happens is if i now click on image and add image here and what i will do i'll just save those images very quickly so i can upload them so make sure that the images that we are using here has all have a same size otherwise your alignment of the images won't look good so i will upload those three images very quickly to show you what that means okay so it will take some time to be uploaded so it has already uploaded so let's add it so now you can see one image already added now I will duplicate this image and drag again another image. Now I'll change that image to a separate image, right? Then also you can add another image in that case as well. This 
just change the image okay so now we have all the three images but another issue remained is if we see this section you can see there is no space between those images so to remove space between these images if you select an image and if the top bar you can see we have outline of our section so you can see there is a raw section and then there is a row select this row then go to general tab and below this you will find that column spacing just reduce those column spacing to zero okay so now you can see there is no space so this how we solve the issue with the image spacing okay so this how it looks so cool we have done it next let's move to the next section and also we can see in mobile it will already be responsive but as you can see in mobile it again got few space between those images thus select on this image and then again go to this row of the after the section and then again make it zero for the mobile as well now you can see there is no image and also for mobile what we can do we can reduce the bottom spacing so there is not much space so for the bottom i'll make it zero i'll make it 10 i think okay so 15 i think and also for the top i will make it 30 so there is not much space in those sections so you can see the images looks good now go to the mobile and as i said when you are making few changes make sure to give it a save unless your hard work will get destroyed if for some reason something happens so now this section is already end now let's move to the next section so for the next section if you see it has again two columns in the left side we have few text with the bullet points like we did at the upper section and in the right side we have a image okay then we can check those sections don't worry about those sections right now okay so for this section we have again we have two columns so let take this two columns section again okay so now you have two columns so again please look co close attention to this the design of this text is similar to the design of this area right unless the colors is of course difference different so we can give this section a padding right so we'll give it a padding of 40 and 40 okay then for this heading for this heading let's see how we can reuse them so first of all i will take a heading from here to this column then i uh, then i'll go back to head this heading okay then you will find the option called copy style copy style just click copy style then scroll back to the heading that we recently added and then click it and then you will find the option called paste style just click on paste style okay now we are not seeing anything because the color of it is is white so we make it black so now you can see it looks like the upper section but we will have to change the text color so i'll just change the text color and also 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 if you see that it is 42 pixels so what we will do i will go there and make it 42 pixel okay then then what i can do is also make it italic okay then uh, also this is the color for the lumid light some of the section as you can see has a separate color so i will go back there like the other section i will just select those and give it a separate color so then click apply now you can see it has get gotten a separate color and for this you can see it has the similar look like we did but again another one that another things so you can see there is a divider here with the same color of the heading for divider you click on this and then you will find scroll down you will find a call section called divider just pick the first divider and just drag it between this and for this color i will just open this color again and just select those color and for divider i will give this color and if you check uh, it will be three i think but as you can see the divider is taking the whole space to make this divider shorter we will go have to go to the style and you have to give it a margin of 90 90 is not enough 390 i think this is enough 390 okay but i think 490 will be enough and make sure to reduce this margin for mobile 
okay now you can see it is not visible anymore make it zero for and then give it 200 okay so this is how it looks for mobile you can reduce the padding as well i think i will give it 20 and 20 for mobile then go back to all device and for this i will take those list just click on the list and then copy it then click on the list and just try to drag this list to this section okay now you can see it is before the heading i will just move it before the so this divider is so i will just move it now you can see the list is here but if you notice that uh, the list is looking good but for list i will just click on list and i will just remove the padding of it okay so now it is alignment is perfect so you can see they are using a separate check mark design but i will i can change it anytime just click on the icon and then go to this and then type check mark and this is a check mark they are using right now so i can just copy it and then go to the each of the check mark and then paste it each of the check mark and then the paste the code of the check mark or select the check mark from any icon you can uh, select it this is not an issue here you can select it very easily okay then for the text size so i don't think it required to be changed so it looks good so we have an image in the right side so i will click on image and just and then for this email a copy image address then i will go to the image and then i'll go to the url and just press the url so the image will be uploaded from the server and then i will click on select right so now you can see this how it looks so in that case we will also make it alignment perfect so i will select raw then go to the styling and then go to the this flex and i will make the align items to center right so it looks better so let's move to the mobile of the section then go to the mobile and in mobile you can see the heading is not in the middle so i'll click the heading and also i'll make it in the middle so in middle it looks good okay and also for the divider this divider i think it should be uh, 100 pixel in the right and 100 pixel in the left so the divider will be in the middle and for list let's give it a few space from the top okay so this is how it looks few space but it took much more space as i from my expected i will give it 10 so this is how it look this is how the image also looks in the mobile okay so this is how it looks it looks better so let's go back to the old devices again now let's come back to this section so this section we have our add to card this add to card does not mean the the product will be added to card it all only means that this will scroll down to go to the bundle section same button as we added here as well right so for this you can see we have that to cut and below that we have this trust batch for this we can click on it and then click on layout and you can check a full width section here right and then we can get a button as well right then for button as i showed you go back there and just copy those style and then come back here again and click this button and paste this button style and then for column click on column and then go to style and make it alignment in the middle and for this image as well you can duplicate this image and move this image but it is very very tough to move things with page fly so i will rather delete it and i will just rather take it a image below this button so to make it in the separate line i will have give to the image style and make it display block and then for column i will have to make it in the middle but you can see the image is not coming to the middle so to make the image middle i will have what i we need to do is click on this add element and then go to the layout and then go to the 
block and add a block below the button and then drag this image inside this block and then click this block and make it middle okay now i will just first select the image let me select the image first so this is the check now so i think it is changed so i will add this this is a separate one this is with white and this is with black so we need to upload it again so i'll upload this image once more okay so you can see this takes much space i will give it a original size of 300 pixel and for this we can make it why the image is not taking to the middle okay so we can make justify content center okay so so as we as we said we take the block and the block i made the block display flex and make this justify content center then i'll give this block a margin top of 15 pixel and bottom of 10 pixels 15 pixel okay then for image size so i will just copy those text from here so this is the same text from this section i will go, come back to this and just paste those but you can see that the button is much larger than this one first one you can make it but i don't think that things to be different so it has to be consistent the button size needs to be consistent so i'll go with this button but if you want to make it larger you can increase the padding okay for image i will make it just little bit more bigger so i'll go there and i will just increase the width here okay so this is how it looks so if you go to the mobile version you will see all is set up already because this button is already been styled in that section you already copied the design from here right so this both looks same so let's go to the old device again now you can see this section is already finished now come to this section this section called the premium quality so for this for this we have three columns so think it as a three column and we have those trust patches in those three columns so i think these are images yes so these are images okay so what i will do i will go there and just click on this add element and i will take the three column layout here and just paste it in below just the below don't here just below you can put it here as well i think no issue so i'll put it here so you can see three columns has been taken okay so very good so for this we have all of the these things in the middle so we have a image we have a paragraph we have a divider and then we have a heading and we have a divider and then we have a paragraph so first of all we have a image so for those design click on add element and then go to block and then drag them inside the column and make this block to middle make this block to middle and then come back here and then click on image then drag this image inside the block okay then save this image so i will save this image very fast and i will just select this image go there upload this image okay then i will then i will just reduce its size it is not that big so as you can see i think it is uh, 190 is something is better okay then we have a heading so let's click on heading just drag it below the image okay then as i said go to style and reduce the the margin here and then give it a top and bottom padding that's for sure okay then just check what is the font size and font family this is 20 pixel and it is roboto all of the font is roboto so i'll go there and click on roboto it is 20 pixel then i will go to this mode setting and make it regular so this is not bold this is a regular font size and the color is black is good then 
we have premium quality so this is the text for this so i'll just go to general tab control a control b so you can see premium quality has been added now we need divider so i'll go to the add element divider and just drag it below the heading so you can see divider added and for divider we have this color of the button in that case but i would like to give the divider divider a consistent color so i think this list has to be give some space as well so 10 15 pixel is 15 pixel no, 20 pixel is better and for divider i will go with this color as well okay so i think this color need to be consistent for divider and then three okay and then what do you need to do i think two is to make this divider little bit smaller to make it we have to give it a padding so for this we will give it 70 pixel and 70 pixel padding so now you can see it is still much more larger so to make it smaller we have to make it 140 and 140 okay but i think 130 130 will be good 130 130 okay and for top bottom padding i think it will be 10 will be better and for this divider make sure in mobile you have reduced the space in that case as well so in mobile i think 80 80 will be better and for image make sure the image has the width of 80 give it a custom width to make sure it is don't taking much more space so you can see it is still larger than the text so let's reduce it something more so let's make it 110 okay so now this looks good so now let's go back to the old device again and now we have a paragraph right so we have a paragraph and it is 16 pixel roboto so for this we'll have to go to add element then click on paragraph then drag this below the dividers okay so for the colors i will this is the colors so this is the color okay then for it is to be roboto then this is 15 pixel 15 this is 16 pixel okay then um, for as i said please remove those margins for all of the elements that you are taking inside page fly and give it a padding if you want so i'll just copy those and then again i will come back here and click all click all just so this how it ended okay so if you want to make more space you can do it in the heading you can give it a padding top for the heading so as you can see the design is complete for one section now as you can see that the rest of the two is also the same so what i can do i can click on this block if you notice in the upper section then i can duplicate it okay then i can come to this select this image and then again select the block and then i can with this move i can drag it to other column then i can do the same as well i can click on this image then go to block then i can duplicate it then select this image go to block and move this to the right section so this is pretty simple stuff right so for this we have few more is spacing as well so click on this row and then give it a margin i think 30 will be enough okay then there is a margin uh, padding bottom i think so for this i will give it a padding bottom of 30 to 40 now if you want you can always change those text change those images in that place right so this is pretty easy you can do it yourself for this and also you can change those images for now i won't change those images as you can see how we can approach the layout so let's move to the next section so then for the next section here is the interesting things comes up for the next section we have the same three image layout once more but the images is different right but the design is similar 
okay so let's go back to the three image section and then click any of the image and then you can do is just scroll down to the section area then go to the general tab and then move to this attributes area then click on mode setting and give this section a specific name section three image three image section we can make give it a name of three image section so i will explain it why i am giving it this name so just close this mode setting so in page flight there is a very useful tools they have given is called outline you can see all of your website outline at once so for this you have to click on this show page outline so if you now check what you can see that there is a section its name is section there is a section and there is a three image section so with that name we have specified that this image is a three image section right we can give the first section a name as well so what you can give it a name we can click on this section then go to this mode setting and give it a name of hero first area okay then we can go to the next section go to the more setting and we can rename this as well benefits and this is the second section of our landing page then we can go to this section and go to the more setting and we can rename this as well our lumida lights with this headline i have renamed it right then we can go to this section and then go to the more setting and we can give it a name of add to card okay with premium quality okay with premium quality to make sure that the trust badge is also added to the section now let me show you the benefits of this so as i said that the below section is similar to the upper section we already did but what we need to only do is to just change those images so for this we can just copy paste the below upper section and this then that change the those images okay so then let's go to this three image section okay then click on it and you can see there is a duplicate option just duplicate it now we can see that three image section is now sh showing in the page outline two times okay so we need to drag this one three image section below this add to cart premium section okay then like this just close those and then drag those okay now close this page outline and now scroll down now you can see that the a section is already added below this so this how with the name with the page outline we duplicate it and we move it the section to the specific section that we want now the task is very easy you have your own images right you have your own images you save them and then you come to page fly and click any of the image and then just replace the images with another three images that you wanted to show here so very simple task do it one time and then just playing with the tools playing with the options and then you can easily copy it you can easily replace those things now you can see this is very easy this is the benefits of the shop page outline section of the page fly okay so then again go back to the page now come to this section so this is another section this is a section with faq right so we have to make a faq section okay so it has also two parts left side and the right side right okay so let's uh, check this section one by one so there will be a background and there will be a heading first and then there will be two columns okay so let's go to let's go to page fly and then click on add element then you can click on layout and then drag this below the area and now we have to give it a background not a background color it is a background image just click on section and as like the first section you have to go to the styling and select this area okay now just go to the upper section and give it a padding of 100 and 100 
okay now if you see we have a heading and these headings is similar to this or you can see this as well so as i showed you previously what you can do we can just take a heading in here and then scroll back to this section and then copy the styles and then scroll back to the new section and paste the style then make it in the middle and okay so then make it in the middle so you can see that this is a, this has not much space so i'll go to the style and then make it 50 50 is will be enough i think okay uh, so another thing if you notice that from this image to this section there is no white space but here we can see there is a few white space right so for this we can remove those paddings from top and bottom okay so now you can see it is removed also for this section you can remove this padding now you can see the white space is not available anymore so now we can copy this then come to this then just paste it here then we can make it italic and make it italic and change the color and also we have the similar color of this that we used here so we'll just go to the general tab and just find out the color code from here so this is the color code then i will just scroll back and select the asked questions and give it the separate color now we have a separator now we have a divider and for divider we need to go to divider add element divider and select it and paste it and then i will give it a color of this three okay two okay then we have to make it middle for making it middle i have to give it 500 500 left and right padding okay so i think this is how it becomes middle and as i said please remember for mobile do remember to remove those margins otherwise it won't show us any more so give it 300 300 for mobile so 100 100 okay 100 100 will be good so 100 100 not 100 100 10 100 10 okay okay so this looks good so we'll give it 3 30 and then 30 okay then go back to the old device again now comes to this section so as i said we have a two columns for the faqs so again click on add element then go to the layout then select this option and just drag this be below the okay now you can see two column has been taken okay so that's very good now what is our task is is to create accordions so click on this and you will find accordion here so my favorite accordion is this one the icon should be in the right side so i will drag this inside this one so you can see the accordion has been added so now we have to work on it so for accordion i will click on accordion header then i will just change the color to white then i will go below and change the background color to transparent okay so transparent okay so background color to transparent so for transparent i have to make something like that okay okay so now you can see it is transparent and also i can go to the accordion and i can make it something like this okay then i can make the size to 16 pixel then for this we can click on this and we can drag a paragraph inside our accordion so as you can see it is it looks like that so i'll just copy one of the accordion and for this paragraph we'll have to go uh, select it and we have to give it a color of white okay so then we'll give it a 15 then we will just select this accordion content and remove those paddings from here then i will just give it a few 
spellings of right and left. So for this I will also remove it but we have to give it few top and bottom padding for the space okay. So now you can see it is looking good and we can also take those accordions uh, so I think okay, so now create an accordion header then accordion setting accordion item just copy paste this okay so now the task is becomes very easy so we have designed one accordion properly now you can create a accordions then what i can do is delete the below two and then copy this for five times okay then i can change the text of the accordion header change the text of the accordion content for all of them it is the same way okay then there is the accordion in the right side as well as i showed so for this what i will do just click on accordions then click on duplicate okay then click on again at header then click on accordions then just move it another one in the right side now you can see that the accordion is showing for the both section so the accordion section is solved pretty easily then they have a section called what customers are saying so i suppose there will be reviews with looks okay reviews with looks so you can install looks in your store i have already installed it and you will find the link in the description as well and then import few reviews with looks then you can import those reviews inside looks with pagefly now i will show you how you can add them inside pagefly with looks so in that case you can see their reviews is missing as far as i concern so in that area there should be few reviews from the looks then there will be bundles otherwise what customers are saying is not having any value okay so this is the things i had noticed in the design so let me show you how we can add reviews with looks and if you haven't installed looks you can find a link in the description or if you are using early reviews you can do it with pagefly as well so let's do it so now let's enter to the look so i'll click on this looks reviews then as i am using a development store so i can use looks for free but uh, in your live store in that case you have to choose a plan regarding to your needs but uh, 29 dollar is the ideal one and the one that is mostly used because it has the features so that we can integrate it with pagefly so i'll click so i can use it for free so i can just click use looks for free and also another point if your reviews is already added and you don't need to see this part you can skip it i will put a timeline in the description as well you can skip from the point to point or section to section so you can skip this looks part if you are already having the reviews in your store so I, in that case you don't need to see this part you can skip it and go to that bundle section then we can continue so i will just click on continue and i can just continue and they will just skip it and they'll click on finish so the thing here is about looks is we have to import few reviews right so to import reviews what we need to do is click on this import reviews option and i will just delete this bookmark from my chrome one second just to show you how this works so what you need to do first of all you have to drag this like that to your chrome bar like this so this will add it in that case then the important thing here is you have to choose a similar products in aliexpress to import the reviews so this is a similar products that i am making a product page for you will find the similar similar images here as well so this is a similar products that we are working for so i will just import few reviews from this uh, so there is 477 reviews i concern i will add just 20 to 250 just something like that so just click on this bookmark that we have just added 
from the looks app as i showed before so click on it that will open a pop-up for us then it is showing us to select the product so which product is this so i will just just select one product so it does not necessary to select all the three we can just select one of them so it will be just uh, lumida light eight piece so i'll just select this then reviews to scan so i suppose i will go for 100 reviews 20 review, 100 reviews is fine then what i will do ratings should be four stars and up because only five stars is sometimes getting to heart so four stars and up is better then reviews from all countries but should translate to english because i may i am supposing to making this page for the english audience they, then i will check this one and also the reviews with photos because the reviews with photos makes more sense makes more trust so i'll click on only reviews with photos then click on preview and input and like that you can see we will see few bd few images few text then we can reject it or input it like that you should go ahead and import reviews which you think is perfect in that case i will reject it i will reject it i will import it i will reject it because there is only image not text but i will suppose to have text image both together so just like that do that multiple times then i am coming back after adding those okay as you can see my import has been completed so the task is complete so just to make sure that your reviews is added just click on this reviews part of the looks so you can see 39 reviews found means 39 reviews added and is the reviews it with the five star or with the photos so the next task is to add these reviews in our page fly product page so just go back to your page fly editor that we are making so this is the layout we had made previously so as i said this is the example page so as i said i am supposing that they have missing the reviews in that area so we have to take a we have to take s layout here below this faq then as i said all the paragraphs is actually same then i will give it a padding of 40 and 40 top to bottom okay then what i will do i will just click on add then i'll click on heading then i'll click drag this heading here then as i said just copy one of the heading as all of the font size for the headings is similar then just paste it here and then again notice that it becomes white just to change the color to black right so it is looking full okay now what we will do you have to copy those text and i will go back here and then go to general and then control a control v to paste the text then the color is then the color is this color so i will just copy the color again from here so this is the color then i will go to my editor so which part is are saying is bold are saying has a different color right so i'll just give it a different color and it looks if i see with what font extension of chrome it is bold so what i will do i'll go to the styling and then go below then click on this option and make it bold okay because the upper paragraph it is also bold right so we have given it a medium but it is not medium we have to go there and make it bold so make sure make all the paragraphs that we have too bold right so this looks good and this looks okay in that case so i'll make it bold as well so all the paragraphs is bold means 700 pixel okay so this looks good so okay let's focus on the next things so next things as i said i am supposing that they should have a reviews in that area before those bundles so to add the reviews please make note and please close attention to this to add reviews we have to make sure that the reviews we get or the looks review we get inside our product section of the shopify or page fly to add the product section what you need to do is to click on this add shopify element then you will find few things will appear one is product list one is product details so in that case we just will see the product details one this is the most important things here just click on product details then there will be two two layout for it one is two columns in the left side we have an image and then in the right side we have the details about the product and the below one is just image in the top then below the details about the product choose this and drag this under the what customers say okay 
then i will show you what that means actually then product details just just what you will do you will do is you will just come here come below this image and again click again go to the add third party elements what the third party means is third party means is the apps that we are using inside page fly which is not regarding to the page fly, like looks so looks is a separate app so these are the third party apps and PageFly have some apps which works really fine have a good integration with PageFly so just click on it and you will find that these review apps by default works with PageFly one is Yotpo then you can Shopify reviews then Opinion then Group, then Review then Trust etc and then you will find one option that we had added is Looks just click on Looks then you will find two options for Looks one is Reviews Gallery another is Starting in that case we need the reviews gallery just drag this below the product image like that okay so reviews added so we don't need these product images in here so i'll just delete product image i'll delete product title i'll select it and delete product price i will delete the variant as well and also the description as well also this quantity and add to cart as well and also this detail section as well we just need the reviews in that case okay so I will just update the page and publish the page to show you that it is actually working so let me publish the page and let us view the live page so we can see that it is working properly so click on view live page so it has password protected so again please view live page okay then to wait few minutes okay the page has been loaded so if you go if you go if you go so everything looks fine so here is an issue so i'll just address it later just let's move on so you can see the reviews has been added from looks with the images very fantastic right very fantastic and people can click on show more and they can see more reviews so this is working properly fine what we expected right okay so here is things that he has been we are seeing as an issue is that the images is not in the middle but if we scroll back to this section you can see the images in the middle in that case but in the live preview it is not showing i think this is an bug or something issue but we can solve it easily how just click on it and just click on block then go there and click okay so here is the issue here is the issue here is the issue here is the issue so what you have to do we have to we have to take a block before this okay okay then move this image to this block okay so that's like that so then we have to take another block for this as well so you can see i can i'll take a block here and then i will move the image to this block same i will do for this as well i will take a block in the image below and i will just insert the block here so why i told took this block so what i will do now i will click on image and then i will go to the block that is the next block not this block the next blocks to the image okay then just scroll down make it display flex and then make it justify content center okay so this is how it works so then just copy it and then go to this image then just make sure to change it to block then go below to the styling and paste those code again and then again go to this image then go to this block then you have to make it display flex and justify content center to make the alignment to the center okay then i hope the issue will be solved let's check this So page has been published will be a live page okay so i'll just scroll down okay now you can see the images is in the middle so this is a technique that how you can solve this issue okay so and again let's uh, move to the our uh, example page so now we are coming to the most important section and this is the bundle section so first of all what you need to understand here is the section that we are seeing here is dynamic means it is the section where people 
when they will click add to cart when they will click the add to cart button this will actually work and people will redirect to add to cart or redirect to the checkout page so this is a dynamic section right so if i click add to cart let's check what happened so i think this is there is an issue here so let's click this add to cart so as you can see it is reloading and it will redirect us to another page so let's see so as you can see it has added the products to the card and also it redirects us to the checkout page so this how it works okay so we have to think about that that how to make this dynamic so let's move to the page design so for this for this i will have to take another full section right then what i will do i will give this section a padding of 40 and 40 right then what we will do we will just let's show you another tricks so all the design is same right so there will be the same color same boldness everything is same so if i click on this heading you will find that there is a duplicate option so i will duplicate it then i will select the below heading then you will find the like option is move so i'll just move it to this column that we had designed in that case so i'll move it so you can see it has been moved to the below section now i'll just change the title so the title is chose your bundle so the first will be chose your bundle okay so i will remove the other extra text shows your bundle okay okay so it has been given so the next thing here is is to give a divider so i will just copy this divider and then i will move this divider to here then i will move it to here okay now you can see that divider is also added but the divider color is this color so i will just take the color from here okay so i will just give it a color so this how it works okay so now we have give the divider so let's check this bundle section okay so first of all we have three columns here for three bundles right so what we'll do i will click on this add elements then we have to choose this three columns option and just drag it below this area okay so the three columns has been added right then what i will do i will give this row a padding of top so there will be few space between the divider and the bundle so it will be 20 pixel then as i said that the section that we are making for bundles will be dynamic means the price that to cart button is dynamic means when people will click on this there will be a action to be occurred so people can purchase those products and also when a, you if you are changing your products price from the back end of your products then it has to be automatically reflect in the front end so if you somehow you wanted to give some discount and make the price to 40 dollar it will automatically becomes 40 dollar to 44 you don't have need to come to page play and make the edit once more this is how the dynamics things works okay so let's see how we can do this so first of all we have to remember one thing is just click on shopify add elements and then we have to take the product details option once more because this is a dynamic section and product details is for dynamic section just drag this inside this column okay so now you can see that everything looks fine then we have to do few works to make it work so okay so let's start with this point first of all what you have to do first of all what we have to do you click on this product details then go to the general and then from auto you have to choose to custom then what we will do we have three bundle right so i will have to click on select and then i will choose the four piece in that case so first i will give four piece and in the middle i will give the 12 piece and in the right side, i will give eight piece okay so first is for four piece so i will see this and select this product so now you can see the image the title the price is already loaded but we have to make a proper customization to have a look like this example so first of all this example have a title of the product then it has a paragraph that says save 40 dollar 
okay so i'll click on the product title another thing i will do i will just select the product image and move it below the product title right so product title is up in that case and also if you look another thing here is everything in this area is in the middle okay so i'll do just i'll click on this product details and i'll go to the styling and then i make it alignment to the center and then what i will do i'll just make this to roboto and if we see the design here we see the design here i think it is 25 pixel so it is 25 pixel i will make it 25 pixel okay then let's come to this so this is save 40 dollars so the, let, let's see how it looks 24 pixel and this is the color code for it so i'll just take it and i'll go back to page fly so it will be below the product titles i'll click add element then i will click paragraph then i will take this below the product title okay then i will remove make sure to remove the padding that is uh, margin that is giving for all heading and paragraph okay so it already given so for title it already is a margin and for this i will give it a padding bottom of 15 okay then i will go there and make it roboto then make it 24 and then give the color then i will go there make it bold okay then i will copy the text of this okay then i will just control a control b so it is now 40 dollar then we have the product image so the product image is already added so this image let me tell you one thing so this image is coming from the first image that we have in our shopify product so if i click on this and as i added those products if i click the four piece you can see that this is the first image we have so this is automatically loaded in the page fly but if you want a custom image to add you can click on add element then you can drag the image here like we did before but in that case i am happy with the image i won't add any custom image i will delete this option then let's come to the next section so the next section is the section that have the original that have the price of the original price that is the compare price and now the selling price that we are giving people the discount okay so two price is head to head in that case so for this we have to make some work so so this is something you have to make close attention just click on this and then go to layout and then take the block below the image okay then select the block and go to the style then give it a margin of 10 top and bottom okay then first is the compare price so for finding the compare price or finding the original price the cross price you have to go to the add shopify element then go to the product price then you will see there is the cross price or the compare price just drag this bit in the block make sure it is in the block okay so it is now in the block okay so that is good okay so that is good so i will just make sure that the block so i will just don't give the margin i will give it a padding of 30 30 so i'll explain why okay so ne next we have the price of the original price so for original price you get cl click the add element again and then click pr product price again and this is the main price so just drag this inside the block once more and delete this below so now we have to make the adjustment so for this the color is hash 999 okay this is the color and it is i think 20 pixel for this the color is uh, the color is this is the color for the green color that is they are using here so i'll just copy it and i'll just go there and give it 25 and then give it the color that it has then give it the roboto and also it is bold so i'll make it bold and also i will just make it okay so this is how it looks now you can see that they are one is top and another is bottom but we have to make it like this so they are side by side like the example right so to make it side by side you have to do one more things so so just click on this 
any of this then you will find the option called the block that we have added and make the name inside this block so just click on the block and then go to the below area and make it a display flex right then what we will do we will go to justify content what center to make them center align and also we will do align items center as well okay then another thing need to do is just click the original price and give it a some space and margin from left now it looks all okay right this is fantastic then we have to do again click the block and just now now reduce the spacing because we take the space so that we can drag the elements easily inside the block otherwise it is something needs uh, very become some difficult to drag any elements inside the block then let's move to the next section so the next section is we have another divider so i will just click add element and go to the divider section and just drag the divider below this block okay then go to general then go to the black and change the divider type i think default icon symbol so i don't sure so this how the divider right now looking okay so i will just reduce its size to 49 and 50 okay so this how the divider looks okay so now we have few more bullet points or few more points about the products that we can add is like five day free shipping one year warranty and then free and easy return something like that so for this we need to go to page fly again and as we added before we have to go to the add element and then go to the icon i think icon yes nice so i'll go to the list and then we have to take this one here okay so this is the option then for this i will also like to add the check mark things this is looking on the standard one so i'll just add a check mark here but the colors of the check marks i would like to give them this color so this looks good so i'll just go back here and put the color code here and also i will give it a side of size of 20 okay then i will give the roboto to hash 33t 24 pixel okay so okay so what you will do okay so what i will do okay let me show you what i will do here in that case so make sure you make it display flex so click on any list item and make it display flex and also make it align items center okay then what you need to do is to just go to the text setting and make it black for sure then go to it make it roboto and then give its font size to 25 pixel so i think 25 pixel is much much bigger so we'll give it 24 Okay, so I'll give it okay so this looks good so the next thing we need to do is click on this list and as we, as we design the first list very well then what you can do is go there and delete other and let's copy paste okay then you can see that the alignment is not good in that case so in that case just select the list and give the list a margin okay so we don't don't want it to be un inconsistent we need to want it to be consistent so give it a margin i think 30 and 30 will be better so the alignment is perfect in that case so i'll give 23 23 23 and then just copy those one year warranty then go to general and then paste those text very easily So this how it looks okay 
so this is how it looks and one thing the divider has been moved okay so the, this is how the divider will look okay then we don't have any variant and we don't need this that's related that has related the product description as well and then one thing is not needed as well is this quantity button just select this quantity button go to the product quantity and then delete it as well then we have the block only okay so for block just click the add to cut button and just make sure this it does not stay the same page you have to go to the checkout page then go to the styling and make it display block okay display block display block so it is not taking so if you want to click make it 100 percent we click on this add to cart and then go below the styling and give this line of code with 100 percent okay now you can see how it becomes 100 percent now we will just we'll just copy this color code from here and then go to add to card and then go to below and give it a background color of this then what i will do i will give this roboto and i will just increase the font size okay then another thing is required to give it a border radius if you go to the border radius area just give it a border radius of 50 pixel then another thing is required to give it a proper top bottom padding is 15 and 15 is better and also just click on this block and make sure it has few more space to the top just give it a 15 to the top margin okay so last thing is required is this checkout so i think we have already added the checkout here so what you can do you can just copy the block and we can we can just like that we can drag the block so this is something page line needs to be improved so we can drag the block here drag the block here below the add to cut okay so that to cut so view details will be also deleted so this is also already deleted then we can go to the product details and we can give it a padding of 30 and 30 then another things required is if you go to this design you will find that it has a border so we'll go there and this is the border it has is this color of the border it has so i'll just copy the color border color and what you need to do is just click on it and then go to the product details then go to the styling then go to this border area then what you do just give this color okay then click on more details and give it a width of two so now you can see the add to cut button has gone gone out of the area so just remove the width 100 percent and then click on add to cut and just increase the padding 50 50 in the left right but left right 50, 50 is not enough so i will give it a padding of 80 80 so 85 85 is good okay so you click on this just make sure to remove those margins as well mm. okay so this is how it looks it looks good okay now we are to will do we will just make sure that everything looks fine in mobile as well for the fast bundle just go to the mobile device and scroll down scroll down scroll down so for button make sure it is 50 and 50 because in the large sc screen it could make few issues so i'll give it a 70 and 70 nothing more but 70 and 70 okay so this is how it looks good and we'll also make sure to click the product details and give it a left and right padding as well of 10 and 10 so few more space 
okay so it looks better so now the thing here is we have designed one bundle properly so the next times we don't need to do it again once more we can copy paste it and okay so another thing is has not been done is this 40 percent of things so in that case what i will do i will just click on this and then click on the heading then i will drag a heading below this one okay then you can see it is 40 percent of a batch like this so i'll click on this so i'll go back here and i will give 40 percent off and then what we will do is i will just take the green color from here okay then i will go back here then copy this and then i will select the heading then go below and give it a background of this same color and text color will be white and other things i will do go to the below and then click on inline okay then i will give it a padding of 2020 from top from left right and then 10 10 in the bottom then you can see it is overlapping the other one so i'll click on it and i will give it a margin of top so it's not overlapping the other one okay so now you can see that it has added so what i'll do i'll give, check this heading again and also i'll give it a border radius of 10 pixel so it is something that people can be see and i'll give it a roboto then i will give it a 20 pixel okay so now you can see we have a badge something a similar badge like this not the same but having something like that is good then i will re decrease the top padding okay and make sure the product title has a margin properly otherwise it will overlap okay so now it looks good now we have checked the all the points now what i will do i will click on the product details and just duplicate it then i will click on the product details again and move one to the right side as we duplicate it there is one below it this so if i drag this here now you can see there is two right and then i will just again duplicate it and move once product details in the right side but you have to understand that the products is not same for all the products so it is for four piece it will be for 12 and then for eight so to change the product i will click on this product details then go to general and then select and i will select the 12 pieces here now you will notice that after selecting the 12 pieces the price the image automatically changed okay automatically changed we have to change this manually so in that case we have 107 then goes for same as well just click product details and select the eight pieces okay so now you can see the price also change manually we have to save the change this only so this will be seven to two dollar okay then one things remember uh, left is this one so i'll copy the color so for this for the middle one we will have this background color okay then i'll go to this option and click on mega sale then this is required same but it will be 45 percent okay so this is how it looks it looks good so we have make the bundle properly but if you notice that the border of the bundle is different from this one so in that case the border of this is this red color so i'll just go there and copy this and then i'll click on the product details so if you remember we have given the border from this is styling tab and then i'll go below and then click on the middle section and change it so if you okay it has not been changed so i think we have to copy the hex code here so in that case i will copy this hex code then click on the product details then again go below then click on this then click and copy paste the and now you can see it works and for the right side it will be this green color so i'll just copy the green color hex code okay then click on this product details then go below then click on this color 
then control a control v now you can see it is showing properly and also the add to cart buttons will be dynamic means when people click four pieces add to cart it will be added the four piece when they click this this will add these products as well so the bundle section is done properly now we can move to the next section so the next section is how lumida works with two images in the left and one in the right and then we have a video we have a before after image and then a few simple stuffs as well okay so for this what i will do i will just uh, okay so what we will do is as the heading is similar if we go back as the heading is similar and as i showed before that we have something called the show page outline it is very very important and very very friendly so if i click on this section so this is the section for the faq so i will just go to general and attributes and rename this to faq section okay then there is a section is go to the attributes and then reviews section right then the next section will go and rename it to bundle section everyone is renamed okay so now what i can do i can click on review section and duplicate it and then drag the review section below the bundle why i did that because in that case we have have the same things just only how lumida works so i'll go there and i'll click here and i'll just copy here and then i will add the necessary how lumida works and i will remove the extra text okay then we don't need this look so we'll just can just delete it and then we have two images for two images what you can do we need two columns right so you can just click on this you will see that another column will be added so click on this now you can see two column has been added so this is another technique you can apply and then click on this raw and then give it a margin of 20 okay so in the now please add element and click image then just drag the image here then there will be two image one is this and one is this so i'll just add an image that we already uploaded so you can upload your own products image so i will add this one and i will just duplicate it and i will just drag this here and i'll just replace it once more with another one so now two image has been added then what we have we have we set see it in action okay <coughs> And then we have the add to cart button with the guaranteed checkout so if you look we have the same add to cart and guaranteed checkout in that area as well right so what i will do i'll just go to the show page outline and then i'll click on this section and just i'll duplicate it then i will drag this below below the review section but this is not the review section just click on it and you can rename it to another name how lumida works right then you can rename it as well with action video right so this will be action video area okay so now i can close this now let's see so this has a see it in action has a headline and this and then we have a video so for this what we can do we can copy this headline and then drag it so drag it here then drag it here okay then we have a divider so this is the divider we can drag so i can drag something like that So it is it is lagging so for this what i will do okay how lumida works so we'll give it see it in action so i will change the name to see it in action then remove those text 
okay then we have a video so we have to click plus then you have two options to add videos one is youtube and one is vimeo so i'll just click on the vimeo one and i'll add a video here and for video remember to give it few margin top and bottom or padding top or bottom for spacing okay then we have a before after image but in page five can't add the before after image but you can add that with an free app so if you think it is necessary for your product page you can go to the apps and then click shop shops for apps then you will find a free app that can add the before after image for you so just write before before after okay so before after so you will find this app called widgetic before after so it is free as well then you can add the app and this is very easy then you can make a before after image and with the html code you can add that inside the page like so i don't think it is necessary in that case so i won't add that in that case then you can see we have a before after then this add to cart button and this checkout but we don't require this so i'll click on the raw and that's i will delete it then we have this section why choose us okay so why choose us if we close look and go back to one of our section in this area in this area this is the same section but different color so what i can do go to the show outline then our lumida lights this is the section right so i'll just duplicate it and then i will move the our lumida lights to below the action video then go back here so you can see if we grow scroll back so our lumida lights has been added so what i will do i will just say, click the styling and then i will give it the background image that we are using this is the background image but after adding that we have to readjust the colors so i will make it white and also this will be the yellow this color so i'll go to the button and then check this and then i will just replace it with this color okay now it looks good then we can make the same things in that case as well we can make the divider color changed as well and also we can make the color of the icons changed as well with white with white right so it will be white so this will be white white and also you can change the text as well so this is up to you you can do this however you like so you can change those text as well and you can add more bullet points as we showed you how you can do that then i will click on change the text color change the text color okay so this is how it looks so i will just just so this is the title why chose us so i'll just close this and i'll just go to the channel tab and then i will just make it why why so it will be all will be capitalized why shows us so i will just remove the extra text i chose us okay then i will just click a general tab and upload the new added image here okay now you can see it looks better and this is also mobile responsive and the last thing we have is again we have the same bundle is repeating here so we will go to the outline again and remember to change this to another name just go to there and then name it why shows us right shows us okay then we have the bundle section in the so go to bundle section go to bundle section and then duplicate it and remove one bundle section below why why us so then we have the bundle section once more but in that one they haven't used any headline but i will use that okay now you can see the design is fully complete but one things left is 
is is is connecting those buttons to bundle just click on those bundles then go to the general tab then click on action then you will find scroll to section just click on it then scroll to section open it and then go below and find so it will redirect us to the bundle section click bundle section then go to the next button click on it click on action click on scroll to then drop down the scroll to then you go to the bundle section then go below then go below go below and then click add to cart click scroll to then click bundle section okay so now we have added the scrolling to these pages as well if you see the mobile version you will see everything looks perfect everything is in place but it could be this spacing does not required in that case okay so now it looks good it looks good in mobile as well it looks good in mobile as well so if you think there is too much space you can reduce the space you can reduce the space between the button and the benefits okay so this how it looks and also you can remove one you can remove the spacing here as well so i'll remove those spacing here as well so i'll just delete one divider so there is extra divider so everything works fine everything looks good so i'll just publish the page and show you the final output so i hope you have liked the step by step video a very detailed video on page fly on how to create a similar looking landing page on your own i have try to share all of my experience all of my tips and tricks and if you enjoy the video please do like it and please leave a comment and also please do subscribe my channel and if you want this template for a fair price to have it and make your own product pages do send me an email and i will reach you and very happy to help you on that case so hope you like the video and let's see the final overview once more then i will just and the video so this how it looks so if we click on this button you can see it is scrolling to the next section so everything is working fine and everything is working just like we see in our demo pages okay so hope you enjoy the video and thank you very much if you watch the full video thank you very much hope to see you in the next one take care thank you